Hey guys, it's Sarah with Collabs with Sarah, and I'm here for episode three of How to Buy a House. This week we're going to be talking about starting your search. And I'm talking about, you know, you've already picked a real estate agent, you've already been pre-qualified, now where do you go next? You really want to sit down and make a list with whoever you are purchasing this property with, or a close friend if you're purchasing for yourself, someone who's going to check and balance kind of what your wants and needs are. Um, I want you to do your needs first. That is, what are your minimums? How many bedrooms do you have to have no matter what? How many bathrooms? How much square footage? Do you have any pets? Do you have to have a fenced in yard? Are you okay with a property that has the potential to be fenced in down the road? Um, what do you need to have for when you're moving in? Um, garage space, um, if there's a specific uh, school district that you have to be in for your children, um, those are needs. Wants is um, things that potentially you can do down the road. So I need three bedrooms. I want a screened in porch. Okay, a screen to porch is something that at the right house you can potentially do down the road. So that's a negotiable. Your wants have to be negotiable things. Your needs are non-negotiables. Um, and then everything kind of narrows down to three things. Price, location, and condition. Um, you need to figure out which two are your top priorities and what is negotiable. So say price is a non-negotiable. Um, and condition is a non-negotiable. You don't have the budget to be putting in projects and things like that. So what's our negotiable there? Location. Um, I know you would love to be close to the downtown hip area with the shopping districts and everything like that, but if you have a price that you cannot exceed and you have a condition that you cannot budge on as far as projects and renovations, um, then location is going to be you know, what you're going to have to negotiate for. Um, and then decide, okay, I can wiggle on location, but this is where I work. Um, I don't want my commute time to be above this distance. Um, as long as you come to the table with your real estate agent with your needs versus wants, what your non-negotiables are versus your negotiables, that's going to help your agent discover um, the right area for you, the right neighborhood, um, the right floor plan, the right square footage. Maybe you're not sure about the square footage. Maybe you want to see a couple in different sizes first to kind of decide what your minimum is. And that's totally fine. Um, we don't expect you to come to the table with all the research done ahead of time. That's our job. And one thing you should really do with your agent is after you've kind of um, interviewed and decided, okay, this is a good personality. I like their professionalism. I like their processes and procedures. Now can we have a meeting to sit down and just talk about my wants versus needs. And maybe an agent is the person to bounce these ideas off of with and decide um, really what your non-negotiables are. A lot of the times, you know, I will have buyers that come to the table that are like, I need at least four bedrooms. I need this, I need this, I need this. And then we sit down and we talk about it. And I'm like, okay, why do you need four bedrooms? Well, you know, my in-laws may be coming to live with me. Okay. Well, what about four bedrooms, some sort of a basement space? Would that be okay if it's three bedrooms on the main level and like an unfinished basement where down the road when your in-laws are coming to live with you, you can upgrade that area? Um, also, side note, which we'll talk about in a different video, a different episode, um, but adding a basement that's not necessarily finished now and finishing out later is adding square footage and adding value to your house. So those are things to think about that an agent will guide you through as well. So really the next step in how to buy a home is getting your wants versus needs written down on paper and solid. And so that way when you give them to your agent and you've looked at 15 houses and things are all starting to scramble together, what happens is you start to try to make a house fit what you want um, versus the house working for you. And then at that point your agent can take a look at this list and be like, hey, you know what? You told me one of your non-negotiables was a two-car garage. This has a one-car garage. You're talking about adding a carport or ah, I'm okay parking outside. Um, but really that was a non-negotiable for you. So is this house really it and you're willing to give up that non-negotiable? Um, or are you just kind of sick of looking at houses and you're you're ready to move on in the process? Because you, we, do, we do not want to get a call a year down the road. Um, Sarah, you know, I really settled on this house. Um, I'm really not happy here. It's not what I need. I need a two-car garage. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I need to sell. I need, I'm ready to buy something else. I mean, I definitely want you to call me when you're ready to sell. 
and when you're ready to upgrade or downsize or whatever that may be. Um, but I don't want it to be because you regret your purchase. I don't want it to be buyer's remorse. I want it to be because you've grown out of the house. The house has grown too big for you. Um, you're relocating. I want it to be a happy call. I want it to be a happy thing. Um, so buyer's remorse is, is is real with anything, especially with homes. So you want to make sure you are keeping true to that list that we come up with in the very beginning. Um, and then based on those items, your real estate agent can set you up with a search through email that's directly connected to our multiple listing service that is just much more up to date than any of the free online services or apps that you can get out there. Um, and they will just directly send you emails for properties that fit these needs and, and wants. We always start broad okay, this is everything you want, let's see what's out there. If we're finding that there's not a whole lot in your price point, in your condition, in your location, then we can take out some of the wants and just keep those needs in the search, if that makes sense. Um, so that's really about how you would get started. That's the first step is kind of sitting down and making that list with yourself or with your significant other or whomever. Um, and just having it down on paper and sticking to it because um, that's the hardest part is knowing what you want and, and what's going to work for you and your family. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call. And I'm always here to, to help. Whether you're in the Georgia area or not, I'd be happy to um, kind of get started on your search and help you narrow down exactly what you're looking for. So I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.